So now let us go through an example number two. So in this question, uh, we have Sonam, Tashi, and Pema purchased noodles of different brands A, B, and C. Sonam purchased uh, 10 packets of A, 7 packets of B, and 3 packets of C. Whereas Tashi purchased 4 packets of A, 8 packets of B, and 10 packets of C. And Pema purchased 4 packets of A, 7 packets of B, and 8 packets of C. If brand A costs neutron 4, Brand B cos neutron 5 and brand C cos neutron 6. Then using matrix operation, find the amount of money spent by this person individually. So as I mentioned before, whenever you have such application problem, the first step is to get this information in the form of matrix. So first thing is to you have to transform this in the form of matrix. You need to have the matrix representation of this given information. So, so we have here, uh, uh, you're asked to find the amount of money spent by each of this person individually. So that means your, your first matrix in this case should be on the uh, amount of uh, noodles purchased by Sonam, Tashi and Pema for three uh, different brands that is A, B and C. That should form your first matrix A. And the second matrix B should be given by the cost for the each brand of the noodles. Uh, for example, the brand A costs Newton 4, 5, and 6 for brand A, B, C respectively, right? So, so our first matrix, so since we are asked to find the amount of money spent by each individual using matrix operation means we are asked to find the amount of money spent by these three persons, Sonam, Tashi, and Pema using matrix multiplication. So if you are using the matrix multiplication, you should have matrix A and matrix B. You need to form two matrices from this given uh, quotient. So as I said, so first matrix should be the number of, not the number, amount of the noodles of different brands A, B, C purchased by the, uh, by Sonam, Tash, Tashi and Pema that will give you the first matrix A. So first matrix A will be the Sonam, uh, Tashi and Pema. So and Sonam, Tashi and Pema is going to purchase the noodles of three different brands A, B and C. So this should form your first matrix. So for instance uh, Sonam purchased 10 packets of A, 7 packets of B, and 3 packets of C. Whereas Tashi purchased 4 packets of A, 8 packets of B, and 10 packets of C. Whereas Pema purchased uh, 4 packets of A, 7 packets of B, and 8 packets of C. So this should be your first matrix A. So next we'll go to the matrix B. So matrix B should be the amount or the cost of each brand of noodles. Noodles, you have three brands. You have brand A, brand B, and C. So what's the cost for brand A, B, C? For the brand A, the cost is 4 neutron, 5 for B, and 6 neutron for the uh, brand C. So this should uh, form the two matrices. Once you get these two matrices, uh, you can obtain your final answer, which is the amount of money spent by these three persons, Sonam, Tashi, and Pema, by using the matrix multiplication.
So now, if you have understood uh, this example two question clearly, let's go through the solution. So as I explained before, there should be two matrices. The matrix multiplication, you have at least two matrices. So in this case, you have two matrices, matrix A and B. So, so the matrix A is represented by the amount of noodles of different brands, that is A, B, and C, purchased by Mr. Sonam, Tashi, and Pema. So this will give you our matrix A. So matrix A, uh, you have 10, 7, 3, 4, 8, 10, and 7, 4, 8. So what does it mean? It, is, it means that Sonam purchased 10 of A, 7 of B, 3 of C, whereas Tashi purchased 4 of A, 8 of B, and 10 of C, and Pema purchased 4 of A, 7 of B, and 8 of C. Next is to get the matrix B. The matrix B is given by the cost, cost for the each brand of noodles. Uh, brand are given by A, B, and C. So you should uh, uh, able to get the matrix B by using the cost for each brand. We have brand A, B, and C, and the cost for brand A is neural term 4, uh, brand B is neural term 5, brand C is neural term 6. So this form our uh, matrix B. So once you get uh, the uh, get uh, in the form of matrix, once you represent whatever the information given in the quotient in the form of matrix, then next is uh, using the appropriate uh, application of uh, um, matrix. So in this case, we are asked to find the amount of money spent by each of these three persons, so which is obtained by using the matrix multiplication. So, so in order to find the answer, so you have to just do the uh, product uh, for these two matrices. Uh, if you do this matrix multiplication, as you remember, the rule is that if the matrix order of this matrix is M by N, and if the order of this is N by P, this should be same, N and it should be same, equal, and the resultant matrix or the final answer the matrix order of the matrix should be m by uh, p so in this case our order of the matrix is uh, uh, 3 by uh, 3 uh, for the first matrix and this one is 3 by uh, 1 so 3 3 so our final order of the matrix should be uh, 3 by 1 so once that criteria is uh, checked and it, if it is fulfilled then you can go for matrix multiplications so in this case, we, uh, the number of columns in the first matrix equals to number of rows in the second matrix, which we have done here. So our final uh, matrix should be three by one. So when you solve this matrix, you get uh, uh, final answer, 93, 116, and 99. So what does it mean? So this matrix represents the uh, total amount spent by Sonam. This is for the Tashi, and this is for the Pema. So finally, you can state that, uh, hence, the amount of money spent by Sonam, Tashi, and Pema are neural term 93, neural term 116, and neural term 99, respectively, which means Sonam spent uh, around 93, Tashi spent 116, and Pema spent 99.